Here we are at uh, Leonard Ravenhill's grave, and it's Father's Day 2021, and just wanted to say a few things about this uh, this man. He's a was a father in the faith. He was a, if I could say anything about him, I would say he was a man of God, not a man of men. He didn't really care about uh, what man thought. He wasn't a man pleaser. He only cared about what God thought, and he really just wanted to be pleasing to God. Uh, some of the things that I could think of that Leonard Ravenhill had said was there's only two types of people in the world those who are dead in sin and those who are dead to sin he also said that uh, you know when people would say that they're a saved sinner he would say you can't be a saved sinner he goes you're either saved or you're a sinner to say you're a saved sinner he said would be like saying you're a pure harlot or an honest thief or a married bachelor those terms are conflicting and so he knew that and he was he was somebody that you know was like an Elijah of his time that you know told people like why halt between two opinions like what Elijah says in first Kings chapter 18 which really means why stop why halt between two opinions if if God is God serve him if Baal is Baal serve him you know like Baal represents money or just anything your own life he challenged people to the utmost to lose their life and to take up their cross, die to their passions and lusts, like Galatians 5.24 says. And that's what he really stood for, is complete and utter loyalty to God, which is really the basis of coming into Christianity. Like Jesus says, no one, you know, unless you lose your life, take up your cross, die to your life, you will not find life. And if you don't find life, you're dead in your trespasses and sins. So in Romans 8, it says, mortify or put to death the deeds of the flesh and you will live. It also says the, that the widow who lives in pleasure is dead while she lives. So that's what Leonard Ravenhill stood for. And uh, he was very impactful. He, pre he preached a strong message about holiness and living for God with all your heart mind soul and strength and so just to remember remember what he did this is his, his statement that he has on here are the things you are living for worth christ dying for what a great man of god